Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on recurring decimals from real numbers. The question is the rational form of 0 0.254, the 54 is recurring, is in the form p over q, that is as a fraction. Then p plus q is. The question is asking us to change the given decimal format to a fractional format and then when we get it as a fraction we have to add the numerator with the denominator to get the required answer. So let us try to solve this given example. Let us take the given decimal as x first. So x is equal to 0 0.2. The 54 is recurring. So that means only the 54 is going to be repeated in this given expression. So it keeps on repeating. Hence we have written it as a repeating decimal. Now we have to try to get rid of these uh, decimal points. The technique used here is we can multiply 10 on either side of the given expression. So we can write here as 10 times x is equal to. So if we multiply 10 with the given term we get it as two shifts before the decimal point and it becomes 2.545454 and so on. Now if you look at the decimal points, we are trying to subtract the decimal points in such a way that it turns out to be a zero. But if you see here, we are not getting the decimal points as a zero. So we keep multiplying both sides by multiples of 10. So let us multiply both sides of this given x term as 100. So 100x is equal to, so it becomes now 25.45445 and so on. Let me give this as equation 1, this as equation 2 and this as equation 3. Now let us try to subtract the equation 3 with equation 1. Let us see if the decimal points cancel out each other and turn out to be 0. So here we have 100x as 25.454545 and so on. And the first one was 1x is equal to 0 0.25455 and so on. So let us subtract these two and see what we get. Now 100 minus 1 gives us 99x equals. Now if we look at this side, the 5 minus 5 becomes 0, 4 minus 4 becomes 0. 5 minus 5, 0, 0, 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, point, 5 minus 0 is 5, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So you can see maximum of the decimal places have got changed to 0. So this is acceptable. Now finally we get it as 99x is equal to 25.2. Now to get rid of this decimal point, again we can multiply both the sides by 10. So 10 times times 10. Now we get it as 990x is equal to 252. So we have changed the recurring decimal number into a fraction because x can be written as now 252 over 990. Now let us see if we can further simplify the given fraction. They both go in the table of 2. So 2 1 times and 2 2 times is 4 and 2 6 times is 12 over 2 4 times is 8 2 9 times is 18 2 5 times and again they both go in the table of 3. So 3 4 times is 12 3 2 times is 6 and here 
so 42 over 165 so we have to keep on reducing it till we get the simplest fraction it again goes in the table of 3 so 3 1 and 14 times and 3 14 over 55 so this is the most reduced form of the given fraction so now 14 over 55 has been in the form of p over q so they want us to find out the addition of p plus q so p plus q is nothing but 14 plus 55 so by adding this we get it as 69 so the answer for this question is 69 which is option c so this is how we have to change the recurring decimal into a form of a fraction and once we get it as a form of fraction then add the numerator and denominator to get the required answer i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and thank you for watching